we have two brakes on the bike. First of all, you need the rear brake because for the rules. Because in case something happens, not let's say normal riding, front brake is missing, then it's something as an emergency, let's say rear brake. But rear brake becomes more and more important in the latest days riding a motorcycle. For sure, uh, when you brake with the rear brake, the balance of the bike is different because you can maybe uh, the rear stays a bit more on the ground and it's helpful for braking. But also for turning sometimes uh, it's helpful because when you touch the, the rear brake, the, the bike turns a little bit more. And even in, in acceleration, sometimes if it's getting some wheelie, with the rear brake you can keep the bike lower. Sometimes it's not enough the front brake to stop the bike. So you need also the rear brake to use some more the rear back torque to reduce the speed of the bike. And also we are using rear brake to uh, um, control the, 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 the setting of the bike, let's say the position of the bike while riding. We use it on the, um, on the right foot normally, also in the past it was only on the right foot, but now with all the developments of the, of the bikes, now we are also using it on the, on the hand, and yeah, it's also helping a lot. We discovered that using thumb brakes uh, is important to, to control the stability of the bike. First of all, because of thumb brakes, it's not powerful as a fit, but it's more regular how you apply the force, so it's more stable. A rear um, foot brake is affected by the bumps and the, the movement of the bike, so the pressure is not stable. By, by hand, it's very, very much more stable. Sometimes I put my leg out for the, for the balance of the braking, and in that point, I'm not using the rear brake. So, thanks to the thumb rear brake, I am able also to use it. Normally, yeah, I combine the two, maybe in the same corner, I try to combine a rear brake with the foot and also with the thumb. Here is Misano. I'm gonna tell you some parts where I where I touch the rear brake. Here we arrive in corner number four. You can you can see my hand that is touching the, the thumb thumb brake because when I when I put the leg out I need some help in that moment. Yeah, look here you can see a little bit. Just on corner four because of the position, you can see my my thumb that is touching the the thumb brake. Now we arrive into corner seven. Here also. I, I touch a lot with the with the foot. It's difficult to 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 make the perfect pressure because it's a bit irregular, as I told you. But it's important to to stop the bike. Here we're into corner corner 12. It's a really fast corner, and here I touch it also with the even if it's right with the foot. Here sometimes we are when there are some bumps with the with the right uh, foot. Maybe you also move the foot because of the bumps, and then the bike becomes a bit unstable bikes moving all the time. So applying the force on the rear brake, yes, uh, the rear end of the bike become more stable, let's say. But of course, it's the way how much you push because it could be some collateral effect, you know, side effect. And uh, sometimes if you push too much, you can even upset the bike and get you more nervous and more movement. Many years ago, I remember McDuan introduced because he cannot use the right foot or because he was injured. Uh, but honestly, in the MotoGP, it appears to be useful, let's say, last 10 years, more and more. Because it's the way also how uh, riding style, uh, there is evolution, the riding style. In the past, not, all, not every rider used the rear brake also, for my side, I didn't use it in the past. But after my big injury in Germany in 2017, I had to put the foot in a different way. So then I tried, and I actually liked, and then from, from then, I saw that using the rear brake is much better for, for everything, so it's really important for, for be fast. We have to understand very well the balance between the front and the rear brake. It's not easy, but I, at the end, uh, with, with all the experience and all the years, I am trying to learn these kind of things. Uh, uh.